Welcome everyone, in today's video we'll be reacting to a video from the Hamza Unfiltered channel titled Throw Your Bible in the Bins Lads. In this video, Hamza, a self-improvement YouTuber, describes the lack of respect present in our generation today towards Christianity. Let's begin. When I was in high school around age 15, I remember a couple of guys from one of the local churches came to our school to do an assembly and they handed out little Bibles to everyone. And straight after that, so they have everyone, every student, hundreds of students have got these mini yellow Bibles like this. An hour later, as I'm walking home from school, they're just all over the floor. I literally, I remember walking past a group of like, guys who were friends, literally like egging each other on, saying like, oh yeah, wait, throw it, throw it in the bin, throw it in the bin. Okay, we're doing shit of like doing a 360, like stepping around, doing a 360 and like pretending to like trick shot or something, the Bible into the bin. I'm sat here right now in Dubai, the prayer's going off, if you can hear that. I don't know if this is like a sign or not, but just before, like, I, don't, I don't know if this is rare, but I haven't seen many like wildlife here in Dubai because it's quite like a built up city. And a huge flock of birds just flew over me like in such a beautiful like fashion. And I, I literally just got the thought just thinking like God is real. And I swear that as soon as I had that thought, the prayer went off. And I know it's just a coincidence and stuff, fair enough. Like, it was just interesting that, that that happened. And it made me think of how I, I think religion is actually so important. And I've said this for a while. And yet I've been raised, I've grown up in a society in the UK, which is quite predominantly godless. I won't even say it, but imagine if someone did that, that same thing here with the holy book that would you know, be widespread here. But why, why is it so hated on in the West? It's, it's seen as a bad thing to be religious, but especially in my opinion, from my experiences, to be brown and Muslim. And even it's seen as like a cringe thing to be Christian or any religion in the West, in, in at least the UK is my experiences. I want to throw that question for you, Hamza. Why is it so seen as cringe to be a Christian or to be a Muslim? For the Christian part, you see, the devil has plans. Plans to make you, one, not believe in him. And two, follow his orders. If you don't believe in the devil and you start having a society that doesn't believe in God, there is no God. There is no devil, there is no good, there is no evil. Because that is the fundamental thing you're disregarding. What happens? The West. The West happens. And you see, the people who are promoting this idea that being a Christian is cringe, oftentimes are those who know nothing about the religion. Oftentimes are kids who are naive and haven't spent the time to go into the religion they follow. Maybe they're born into Christianity, but they don't actually believe it because they haven't had a one-on-one -on -one interaction with God. They haven't had an experience where they would open their Bible and immediately they wept. It's ignorance. Now, this really boils down on the fundamental question of why, as a generation, are we so anti-God? Why do we promote a godless society? Because it's easier to give into the flesh than to follow God. The very first commandment in the Bible says, You shall have no other God before me. Let me break this down. Our generation is trying to put these social media influence as their God. Before the one and only true God, Jesus Christ. And as a result, what's happening? What they promote is godlessness. What they promote is degeneracy. What they promote is weakness. What they promote is a lack of accountability, a lack of responsibility, a lack of reasoning, a lack of reality checks. What they promote is love is love, but they're not even tolerant of love of God. Am I speaking too fast? That's my answer to that question, Hamza. Let's keep going. It was seen as the right thing to be atheist for the last 15 years of my life. If you weren't an atheist, you were kind of demonized online. All of the, the sites that I was using, you know, websites that I was using, it was like everyone's atheist. If you were religious, you were almost seen as like a weird person for that. Especially, I was using sites like Reddit and obviously no one religious on TikTok or anything. Everyone's discovered silent. Everyone's discovered science and lost their souls in the process. And I, I'm one of them. It's a little memory I wanted to tell you about, a little story of like, that, that's literally the culture. I got, like, it's such a, a meme that it doesn't even, like, you might even not even think that. I, if I was watching this video, I think that I was exaggerating it. I swear to God, 
four or five, not even not nerdy looking teenagers, but more like the not popular, but slightly above average, like status of like high schoolers, literally egging each other on. Oh, go on, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, go on, go on, now. I bet you want to do it. And one of them's goofing around with his little chuckle as he like does a 360 and then yeets his Bible into the bin and everyone, oh. And not only that, like, literally, I remember that day walking home. I literally, I wasn't even like religious, but I remember walking home and seeing those Bibles that we all got handed. I kept mine in my wallet, bro. I wasn't even religious. I wasn't Christian. If I was going to be religious at this point, when 10 years ago, I would have been Muslim. And yeah, they gave me a Bible. I kept it safe in my like wall blazer. I took it home with me. When I saw the amount of people who were just like, lit not, I didn't, this was only people I saw doing it. But when I walked home and I saw so many of them, like, just littered, thrown on the floor, pages ripped out. There was like three different ones that I can literally see in my mind that were on the floor in like, the dirty UK streets. That's enough. Thank you so much, Hamza, for making this video. Thank you so much for bringing this idea to our society as a whole. Because if you have a platform and you're talking about the sheer, the sheer lack of respect people have for Christianity. It's a shame. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, then you definitely like my following video coming up in a couple of days where we react to Hamza talk again about Christianity. Stay strong.